was standing in the river crying and the soldiers just shot him down. There'll be a man that will come from the east. He'll be all white and he'll try to make you forget your ways and he'll try to convert you into their ways. He said, you will run into a lot of turmoil with these people. The tribe, when they went north, and they, they followed their um, uh, existence, which is the buffalo. Chief Black Hill was a man of peace. He belonged to Sutok Nation. Sutok was an Angolian speaking people. John Shimington was a person who was in the same category as Custer. And one of Custer's words were, wanted to wipe out all of the Indians that was on this earth. Governor Evans was actually out back in East at the time. He wasn't here during the Sand Creek Massacre, but he felt that Indians were an impediment to progress here. It happened early in the morning. Everybody was asleep. November and it was real cold. Black Kittle's village was attacked from the east. The fire had started. She said my father stuck his head in our teepee and told my mother to get the kids up and ready and run down to the other camps. And the old men had to run, you know, because they, they, they had no horses. Their horses were chased off. The women started running down into the water. They were hiding in the bushes. Bullets were flying all over the place. And they had gotten wounded. And uh, some of their flesh had been shot off. Their mother was running and was wounded. And she stopped to tie her wounds up. And the baby was so cold that he, his heart stopped. But just then a ray of sunlight shine down from the skies and hit the baby just enough to warm him up to make his heart beat again. When he came back to life, he started crying. The mother grabbed him, took off running again, and survived. The baby was the son of my great-great-grandfather, broken shoulder. After they massacred these people, the, the army doubled back, and they cut these women open, and men, these pregnant women, they cut them open and uh, exposed the, the babies that they were carrying. Well, when you cut a, cut a baby out of a womb and bash its head in, that's a supreme act of genocide right there. They dismembered a lot of the people that were already dead and uh, cut their arms and legs and even cut their heads off. It was just uh, women and old people, kids, there was hardly no warriors. That's why they couldn't defend themselves. Why they called it the battle, I don't know, but it was a massacre. The army disregarded their own flag and the white flag of truce. I guess you would say they just trumpeted all over their own American flag. They disregarded the meaning of the United States flag. Shillington's exact motivation, some say it was political, some religious, uh, some racist. The Congress investigated this after, after testimony from all sides and they called it a massacre. And they condemned uh, Governor Evans, who was forced to resign, and Colonel Shillington for being, as they put it, more savage than the so-called savages. When they attacked uh, Black Hills in Camden at uh, Washita, they finally killed him and his wife. I don't think it's ever been resolved. They're still on rest at that place, the Big Sandy Sand Creek, because of the, the spirits that are probably still there from what happened. It does make me bitter and angry. All that could have been prevented if the white man tried to understand the Indian people. But do I think that in this world that we live, we have to get along. We need to 
communicate better. 